So setting up your own smart home system can sometimes feel too complicated, overwhelming, or just expensive in general. But in reality, it's really super easy and affordable to get started with. So in this video, I'll show you how you can start building your own smart home system from scratch without breaking the bank using the Apple HomeKit ecosystem. All right, so let's get started. So in order to start building your own smart home system, you don't have to have an Iron Man brain as Tony Stark in order to create a Jarvis for you because it's really easy and it's not that complicated once you understand what's going on. And since I'm really deep into Apple ecosystem, I'm going to use Apple HomeKit in order to show you how how you can start from scratch. And if you don't know what Apple Home app does, it pretty much allows you to control all of your smart accessories right from this app from lights to speakers, from humidifiers, anything that you can connect with Apple Home app can be controlled using this. And you can also use Siri commands in order to control all of your accessories. Now you might have a question where, does all smart accessory works with Apple Home app? The answer is no, because if you're going to buy a new accessory, make sure it has a label that calls works with Apple Home or a matter support. If the product has either of those labels, then it's definitely going to work with Apple Home. And if it doesn't have that label, that means is going to work with other assistants such as Google and Alexa. So before you go ahead and start buying all the smart accessories, just choose which ecosystem would you like to go with. So if you want to go with Google, then buy everything that works with it. So that way, all the automation system that you will build will be seamless all the way around. And the best part is, it's really affordable to get started with because you don't have to buy expensive things right from the get-go. You can just start small and build over time. And I must say this, once you get started, it's definitely addicting and you're just gonna go deep into that okay so now let's talk about some of the smart accessories that I have which is budget friendly and as you can see these three products is where I started building my own smart home system and when you're getting started honestly just these three products can do a whole lot to your system and I know it might not look a lot but trust me their functionalities are beyond crazy and if you know what you are doing with automation and all of that and speaking of budget friendly you can pretty much pick up all this three accessories probably under 150 or maybe 100 if you can manage to pick up this HomePod mini as a used on Best Buy or somewhere else. Okay so let's start talking about the smart plugs. So pretty much what it does is it can convert your traditional accessories into smart accessories by just plugging this into your wall outlet and plug your accessories to this smart plug. And as you can see I have a matter support one so all I have to do from this point is to scan this QR code uh, in my Apple Home app and then I can rename it, give it icon and after that I can start controlling my accessory right from the Apple home app or using Siri commands and I know it only does turning on and off but if you get smarter in automation and just build your own scenes then you can automate a lot of things such as turning all the lights on when it's evening and when the sun sets so stuff like that, it's just really handy. And there's been a lot of instances where I forgot to turn off my light and I just left home and I just realized, hey, I just didn't turn off my light. Then I can just use my Apple Home app and turn off remotely. So I can control all of my lamps and other accessories from any Apple devices that I own, such as my iPhone, iPad, or even MacBook. And I'll also go over how you can build your own automation and scenes in this Apple Home app later in this video. Now, speaking about this Apple HomePod mini, this is a great budget-friendly product from Apple and honestly it has a great sound as a speaker itself but not just that you can use Siri commands in order to control all of those things so if you have like one or two around your whole house then you can control everything by just saying it and that way you don't even have to open the Apple home app and control each accessories that way and like I said when you start building scenes that has a lot of different accessories that you want to control all at once then you can just give it a name to that scene and you can just say out loud the scene name to Siri and it's just going to control and activate all of those accessories all at once. And the third one is the smart RGB bulbs and pretty much what you can do is you can connect this to your lamp and that way you don't have to use the smart plugs in order to control that device. You can just use the smart bulbs and connect them directly to your Apple Home app and that way you can control the brightness, the RGB color that you want and you can automate when you want it to turn on and off. Alright so this is where things get really interesting which is automations and home scenes. 
And as you can see, when you open your Apple Home app and you set up all of your accessories, then this is what you'll see on your home screen. And as you can see, I have some HomePod Mini, HomePod 2 setup, and some lights here. And I also have two scenes built out, but we'll build a new scene from scratch so you can see the whole process. Now, if you wanna see and start building your automations, then you can just go here, automation, and start building from here. And as you can see, I have three automations already set it up here. So pretty much what first one does is, whenever there is a sunset, it's going to turn all the lights on. So I don't have to do all of that manually. So that's a great feature. The second one is just to boost my energy level whenever I come back home. So what happens is when I arrive home, it's going to play a certain kind of music that I can also choose. I can select certain playlist or specific song that it plays whenever I come in close proximity of these home pods. And third one is pretty much whenever I leave my home, it's going to turn off all the lights and that way I can just save someone energy bill in case if I forgot something. All right, so I want to build something where whenever it's an evening or whenever it's a sunset, uh, my lights turn on and when that happens, I want a certain kind of music that plays in the background at really low volume. Okay, so when you want to create your new automation, first thing you will do is click on this plus icon and click on adding automation and we want something to happen when certain accessory is being controlled. So I'm going to choose this and accessory is controlled and I'll hit here, I'm going to choose, let's say, accent lamp, and I will hit next. And right here, you can choose what to happen when. So uh, do you want something to happen when it turns on or off? So I want it to happen when it turns on. So let's do that and hit next. So this is where we'll see all of your smart home accessories connected to your smart home app. And in my case, I want to play music when this accent lamp turns on. So I'm going to choose uh, home pods and hit next. Now it gives me option to play audio, but I can go even further and choose a specific track uh, by clicking here, choose audio. And I can either play ambient sounds like rain, uh, just soothing thunderstorm and stuff like that. But I can also go in Apple Music and choose the specific library or genre. So let's say, for example, Caesar. I want to play this album when my accent lamp turns on. So all I'm going to do, and also you can choose a specific track if you want to, but in my case, I want to play the whole album. So I'm just going to click on this top icon right there. And I can also choose the current volume, uh, which is, you know, not really ideal because sometimes if you play something louder, then it's just going to get super loud. So I would like to get set custom volume. So it's always at that certain volume. And I just wanna play this in background and not like in front. So I'm going to keep this super low. Once you do that, hit back and there you have it. That's how you create your automation from scratch. And now, as you can see, there's so much potential and so many cool things that you can do here. And if you want some inspiration and things that you can do, then you can also go into this discover mode and that's where you'll get some tips from Apple itself uh, to do some creative things with your smart accessories. Now, let's say if you wanna build a scene where you wanna control all of your accessories all at once by saying one single phrase, then you can do that by clicking on this top icon and add a scene. And this is where you get some of the presets, let's say arriving home, good morning, good night, leave home. But you can also go custom as well. So let's do that and I'm going to name this movie mode. Now, next step is to add accessories. So I'm going to add accent lamp. Next, I'm going to add this other lamps that I wanted to turn off instead of turning on. So whenever I want to watch movie, I just want this one lamp to be on and all the other lamps to turn off. That way I can just create that movie kind of vibe. So let's click on done. And here you can choose which one you want to turn on and off. So right here, I just chose accent lamp to be turned on and floor lamp and side lamp to be turned off. And you can also test this scene as well before you want to commit to it, uh, which is pretty handy as well. So now I think in my case, I think this is pretty much all I wanted to do. So I'm gonna click on done and there you have it. Now you see this newly built scene right in the home main screen. And whenever you want to use this scene, you can just say Siri command 
and say this phrase and it's going to activate those accessories exactly how you set it up to do which i think is really convenient and something really cool whenever you have guests over and you just want to show off i do that all the time by the way and as you saw there are tons of creative ways to use these automations and trust me on this once you start experimenting new ways to use these automations and scenes it gets really addicted and it's really hard to come back from it and without you even realizing it you start turning your traditional home into smart home tech just like that and just get much deeper into it see i told you it's not really complicated to get started with so three main things that i want you to keep in mind when you start building your smart home system first just start small and see how you like it and see how you are using it in your daily life second get the smart plugs from amazon because they are really cheap to get started with and third once you get comfortable expand over time and by no means building a smart home makes you lazy it's just a way to make yourself more productive and do things that are more important than you have to spend and remind yourself doing every day so if you found this video helpful then don't forget to subscribe for more related content and also check out these other videos especially this one where i show all of my smart home tech accessories that i use every Day. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.